take us through the, what you have analyzed based on the data. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, as we said, uh, 119 out of 179, which is about two out of every three embalmers, are seeing these unusual white fibrous clots and in both the veins and arteries. That's, this is another interesting point. Uh, embalmers typically find uh, clots, you know, the traditional type like the, the grape jelly and the chicken fat clots in the veins of, of uh, their corpses. But very rarely do they find uh, clots in the arterial side. With these white fibrous clots, they're finding these things on the arterial side as well, which is very interesting. The main consensus of the embalmers is that the uh, the clots uh, first appeared in the year 2021, although there were some that said that the uh, clots did start in 2020. Remember, we saw there was a, a smaller but significant number that said they started in 2020. And these clots are continuing into 2023. As I said, I've talked to embalmers recently, and the phenomenon is still happening which is, you know, it's alarming, right? It, it, it needs further investigation. The other alarming thing is that the embalmers are seeing these clots, some of them in up to 50% or more of their corpses. So this is not a rare phenomenon. It's something that's happening quite commonly. So my last bullet is really the one that I wanted to uh, push, and that's that the FDA and the CDC need to immediately investigate uh, to see if the COVID-19 vaccines in any way are linked to these these clots because the data tends to suggest that that could be a possibility. I'm not saying that it is, but the data makes it a little suspicious. So what I've done, doctor, is in uh, January of this year, when I had the USA portion of the, of the survey done, which that time showed that a hun uh, it was 100 uh, out of 128 uh, embalmers that responded, 88 of them, which was about 69% and said they were seeing the clots at that time. I presented the, the same set of charts with the USA, just the USA portion of the data to the uh, FDA's vaccine and related bio biological products advisory committee. They were having a meeting on the 26th of January. And I asked if I could speak at that uh, presentation. Um, and unfortunately they had a, just an hour set aside for oral presentations they gave 20 speakers three minutes apiece. So I made a three-minute presentation hoping to, to give it, you know, with the, with the three key charts from the, that, we, that you just showed uh, with just the USA data on it. But unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to speak. However, I did submit a written package on the 19th of January. So the uh, FDA did have that in their possession when they met on the 26th of January. Now, since that time, they have not come back to me whatsoever with any information about all they did was they gave me a tracking number. So I know they received my information, but to my knowledge, they have done nothing with that information. They have not gone out and done their own research. I would love to see if have them do exactly what I did, right? Survey the whole country, maybe get state uh, um, organizations to survey all their funeral directors and embalmers do, do the same thing I did to corroborate or disprove the, uh, the survey that I conducted and find out once and for all what's going on with these white fibrous clots. I just find it astounding that there is this lack of curiosity on their part to want to go forth and do that. So uh, uh, this is, I, I'm reflecting on what you're saying and I am trying to, the only answer I can give is that from a clinical point of view, so most physicians would never know about this, Two, I don't think that most, because we're, we're struggling with autopsies in general, as I've always said, we're not doing enough autopsies. So if we're not doing enough autopsies on um, people who have um, been vaccinated, we wouldn't see any abnormal patterns. And this is part of the reason why I've been insisting that we have to continue and do far more autopsies than we're needing. So in a sense, the medical community is blind on it. Now, the embalmers are seeing something strange. I was trying to find a parallel where um, if, you, if you imagine when the balloons were floating over the US and the public were telling the military that we're seeing these balloons, do you think the military would not have looked at this? What are the chances that they would have just ignored it? Slim to none. The military, they would have immediately, and they did immediately investigate the situation, right? 
So like I said, uh, it just flabbergasts me that our medical community, that our regulatory agencies are not doing a, a deep dive into, into the investigation of these white virus clots. It's just, especially given the results of the study showing that they're not only a large percentage of embalmers are seeing them, but they're seeing them in a fairly high percentage of their corpses on average. 